and I'm here everybody and I just finished a small circuit um, this is, is a single way lining circuit with a supply an outlet supply, receptacle supply um, I just did this so you future electricians can see how do you do how you wire a light with an outlet powered from the light box um, as you can see I came down and I have my, my entrance right there and it goes back to the receptacle right there um, now the first thing you do for you guys out there, you remember you always work safe and you follow your color codes. Um, what I did here, I did two different wires so you, so you can see the difference between a common and your traveler wire. Now what I did is, I bonded, I bonded all my lives together, the, those two red and the black, all my neutrals, all the three black and all my grounds, three bare wire right there. First thing you do is you bond your ground together and you bond your neutral. Then you tackle the, the lives or the hot wires. Now my power wire, it comes in right here in this red wire nut, and the next wire goes out to feed. It goes out and it comes right here to feed the supply outlet right here. And that black wire that comes out of the red wire nut right here, I use that as a comb to show the, to show the difference between the traveler and your common wire. So that black wire right there is known as the com, or your common. It goes to the top on your switch, and the red wire goes to the L1 portion of the switch to the, on the bottom side. And it goes back, and it goes to your light. So my neutral is right there, and it's bonded to the light, and my ground goes straight directly to the light as well. Everything is bonded, goes straight back to the outlet. And remember that black wire is used as your common terminal and the red wire goes to your L1. So the connection is broken or closed, it's open up, it's opened or closed through the switch. Through the switch right here. If I flip the switch, the light will turn on. And that's it. The switch is on. When I turn it off now, it should turn off. And that's it. On, off, on, off. So the light's operational, and you see the whole works right here. You bond your, all your life together, your neutral, and your grounds. And you send a piece of wire that comes out from the, the red wire nut here, goes to the top portion of your switch, comes out the L1 side of your switch, and goes to your light. Now, I will turn, I'll turn this off. Now I'll, turn, I'll go to the outlet portion of the switch now, of the, of the circuit side. Um, don't mind the noise, I'm, I'm at work right now, so, um, as I told you right here, in order to power the outlet, there's a next wire, a next hot wire that goes here, that next red wire goes to the, to the outlet, one neutral wire goes to the outlet, also a ground wire goes to the outlet. So the outlet is bonded right there, and you can see it. Now, right now the outlet is off because it's controlled by a switch. To prove if, if this outlet has power and it sh should be operational, I flip the switch and you should see a light turn on. All right, now that shows me that this, the outlet has full 220 volts, 240 volts right there. And just so you know, these are old old material. You'll, you'll find these in England. 240 volts, not 110. 110 is, is different switches, different outlets. So this is a 240 volt single switch with an outlet, and then that's a circuit for you. So the light here shows that the switch is operational, the outlet is operational. You look carefully again, my power comes in, there goes up to the wire nut, one red wire goes to the outlet, also a neutral and a ground, and that black wire comes out, the red wire nut goes to the top portion of the switch, comes, and the red wire comes out, the, comes out the L1 portion, that's the bottom portion right there, and it goes back up to your light. When I flip the switch, the light's on. So the switch itself, between that red and the black wire there, it, it's a broken connection between there when I flip the switch up or down, off and on. And that's how you wire a simple circuit. you find this in your bathroom. Well, most bathrooms to be exact, not all of them, but 
you'll find this in most, most of your bathrooms. I hope you learned something. And comment on the page, please comment. Send me a message, don't be afraid to ask a question. And I'll get back to you with the best answer. If I'm not too sure, I'll have to do my research as well. So you guys take care, be safe. And remember, before you're working on electricity, always make sure your power's off. So keep that in mind.